In this step, we are going to take the UV maps that we created for this plank here and this table leg, and we're going to copy them over to duplicates of those objects that don't have UV maps yet. I'm going to do that with something called Transfer Attributes, which is a useful little tool. So obviously what I could do, if I wanted to just get four more pieces of table that already had this texture on and UVs, I could just duplicate this. So if I was just to do Control D and duplicate, you'd see that I've got another one. So I could do it that way and that would be fine. But because I've already got these copies here and they're in place, I'd like to just be able to duplicate the UV positions over. So that's what we'll do in this step. So what we need to do is click on the one that we want to copy from, which is this one and then shift click on one that we want to copy to. Then what I'm gonna do is just open up the UV editor so that I can turn on the checkerboard pattern. So that shows me that this one has the UVs I want, this one does not yet have those UVs. So I'll know straight away if it's worked. And then we're gonna go into Mesh, Transfer Attributes, and click on the Options box. So I'll just make sure that I've got this reset so that I've got the same settings as you. And you can see that UV sets is currently set to all. So it will copy over any UV sets that we currently have, which is good. And then if we were just to try and do this straight away, so if I just click on apply, you can see that it does something, but it's not doing it right. And that's because we need to change it from world to component for it to work. So now if I click on apply, you can see that these now have identical UVs. So now I can click on this one and shift click on this one and click apply again, click shift click apply shift shift click oh not you and apply and that now means that these all have proper uvs all i need to do now is the same for this table leg over to here so you can see that those uvs are all kinds of wrong so let's apply that and we're good to go before we finish this step off we will just turn off that god awful checkerboard pattern there we go and we will assign the wooden material to the remaining pieces. As we are not currently in the hypershade, I'll show you a way of doing this. So with these selected, I'm going to right click. I can choose assign existing material and you'll see all my materials are listed here. And I'm going to choose M underscore table. And that will make everything else look as good as the first pieces did. Next up then, we're going to have a look at this scroll and get the texture on that and we'll complete the texturing and UVing section by finishing off of the books. So I'll see you in the next step for the scroll. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.